Fate here and I'm back for another fun bridge tournament. Let's jump straight in, see if we can win some bridge and see who's actually topped out the uh, tournament. Uh, once in fun bridge you click get started slash practice and then exclusive tournaments. If you haven't played, played it before, view all tournaments and search for bridge vid or Pete Hollands. Anyway, uh, let's jump in and see who's currently winning it is Alex Azuga. In second place is now seven. Third is Audrius, all above 70%. Uh, rounding out the top five is the RB and Emma Wall. And I'll just have it ooh, in the peat of the moment. And I reckon from now on, I'm just going to start scanning for just a little bit. Uh, remarkably generous score. And is there? Check out uh, where the top 50 sort of people in the top 50%. All right, so we'll get into it. 157 people playing, so good turnout. Um, let's see what we can do. So here I've got 11 points, two, four, three, four. So my partner opened a diamond. I'll just start with one heart, two hearts. Okay, so uh, first of all, do I want to invite game? Usually 11 points is what you want to invite game uh, with. Um, but here, Queen X, um, Hearts look like they... Hearts or diamonds probably aren't breaking. Um, and the points are kind of scattered. Um, I could invite... So to make game, I'd want my partner to have, say, King, Jack, Fourth, Heart, Ace, Queen, Fourth, Diamond. So that's ten. And I've still got two spades. I'd need them to have, like, a Dalton Club. And... So if they've got doubleton club, three spades, four four in the reds, I'd need to I'd lose two spades and a club. I'd need to pick up hearts. I'd need to take a working diamond finesse. Uh, that was giving them a ten count, so I could easily give them like another queen somewhere. Um, but another queen like isn't really going to flesh this out very much. So I think I'm just going to compete to three hearts and. Largely because I don't want to let them play at the two level and not try for game. Okay. Uh, look at that good value in spades. Uh, Ace, King, Queen, all with uh, taking two tricks. Uh, currently, I have two diamond losers, three club losers, and a couple of heart losers. King of clubs. Uh, so it looks like clubs are 4 2 or 5 1. Um. I'm going to lose a couple of clubs, I'm going to lose a couple of diamonds, I'm going to lose one or two hearts. I could hope that uh, West has singleton jack of hearts, and I could lead the queen, and I'll go either queen small small jack or queen king small jack, and then I can play east for king eight seven, and I can finesse clubs uh, hearts twice. So if I need to play hearts for no losers, that's what I can do. Um, I'm going to start by ducking the first club. Okay, so uh, the nine's gone. Uh, so east, it looks like West has king, queen, jack, fourth club. And my ten, eight are good enough to get another one, but they will be able to get like a just rough, uh, over rough uh, there. Um, West has something like King Queen Jack of Clubs, probably a diamond on her. East volunteered two spades. I've seen no points there. I think they probably have one diamond on her and a heart on her. So if West has King Queen Jack of Clubs, King of Diamonds is nine, Jack of Spades is ten, Jack of Hearts is eleven. Uh, so we've got uh, thirteen opposite eleven. So that's twenty-four, sixteen points missing. I think West has about 11, so East has maybe 5. So I want East to have King of Hearts and either Queen of Diamonds or Jack of Spades. But let's go for the play and run the Queen of Hearts. At the very least, I probably want to double finesse here. Show me that Jack. Okay. No Jack of Hearts. So I can cross in spades again and lead another heart up. If hearts are 4-1 though, that's not that great. If hearts are 4-1, I have a couple of issues. Um, 
I could cross in diamonds and lead a heart up, but then they can just get over to a diamond and get that promo. Could come out the ten of hearts, which I think is probably the best. Okay, and I'll get a trump promo here. Okay, um. Uh, West has two hearts, four clubs, probably four spades, and three diamonds. Um, East has shown up with... They could have... Could West be King, Queen, Doubleton, Diamond? Or could West... They'll give them a 5 2, two 4 That's not going to happen, so... We'll just put that up and lose another one. I think I could have probably got uh, one more trick. Down to 52%. I'll take it. On this deal, you could have made a two-heart contract. 19 people did do that, so let's just have a quick look. I think they might have like got to duck the club, won the second one, and just led the ten of hearts, uh, finessing West for the jack. Then I think they don't get the trump promo. So they ducked, they won, spade up, queen... Okay, uh, so this player, East, just chose not to trump in there. They cashed the other spade. Like, did their play differ from mine at all? Uh, they cashed the other spade and East was worried about getting end played or something. Um, which is weird. Uh, but I'll take 52%. I could have made an extra trick. Um, I'm sure some people did play it that way. Some people did get to four hearts. I thought this hand was just a little bit too pushy to try and invite. You need quite a good hand from partner. But uh, let's move on to board number two. Uh, like, my partner had a maximum, well, near maximum, and I went two off in three hearts. So, like, I needed, like, a really good hand from partner. Um, so, 11 count, 5, 2, 4, 2. Uh, vol against not, so I'll pass. And my partner opened a club. So I'll start with a spade. Two clubs. I want to bid like two no trumps invite. I could bid two diamonds. I think playing something from my side is probably good with my kings and all the other suits. So we'll go for two no trumps here. Three hearts. It's a natural bid. Okay, so my partner's got uh, hearts there. Heart's well covered. That seems fine. Okay. We get a diamond lead, and it looks like we'll have four or five clubs, probably five. Uh, two hearts is seven. A diamond is eight. Um, so I probably just want to build a spade trick. Um, just preserve that beer card just in case. Um, may as well finesse. Okay, so, uh, I can ditch one heart on a diamond. And another one on a spade, so let's... I could see for Queen Jack double like I could play a heart to the ace. If I cash heart to the ace, I get to see if there's a Queen Jack Doubleton. Um, or uh, I could play a Queen of Clubs club to no, let's just play a spade now. Right. Well <laughs> that just ruined my beer card. Uh, I fortunately need to cash this now just in case I've got any squeeze potential. <laughs> I'm so sad that like I've got some chances for an up, up shot there. Um, 
but we'll just cache this. And I'm not going to see the Ace of Spades, so we'll just see if uh, the hearts come good. No. Ah, <laughs> the Ace of Spades was over there. Uh, well, 79% for three no making uh, 10. Seemed to be with the... Pretty much everyone's getting to three no. Some people only made nine. But they ducked and killed my beer car. That is a cruel and unusual defense there. But uh, currently running at 65. Moving on to board number three. And here we've got an 11 count, but we're favorable this time. So I'll get in there and open a diamond. Partner bid two clubs, uh, which is a game forcing bid. This is a natural bid or a fit in diamonds. Okay, so I kind of want to pass, but I'll just check out what the doubles, penalties, passes sort of like got nothing to say, minimum hand, or I could bid three clubs showing um, a club fit and minimum-ish. Three hearts, this is asking for a stopper. I, I'm pretty sure I don't have a stopper, so I'll just bid three spades. Uh, partner is, okay, uh, that's a control bid in diamonds. Um, if they're looking for, like, I could Q bid, Having a singleton heart is really useful here. My hand, I've already shown a minimum, so we'll cube it, but my hands, oh, I've got two key cards. It's not great for slam. Two and a half key cards. Could actually be a bit, fair bit worse. Um, all right, so we've got two spade losers and three heart losers. Uh, my left hand opponent's the one who's bid hearts. We got a diamond lead, so I can trump two hearts. I can ditch a di a spade on a diamond. Um, so if trumps are three nil, I will reconsider. But I'm just going to win and start with the ace of clubs. Okay, they're not three nil. I pr I should have very strongly considered a low club towards the queen. Um, so that way I could have uh, trumped out the diamonds a bit better. So king of diamonds. Okay, so they are 6-1, so that wouldn't have mattered. But it would have been better to play a club to, to the queen. Alright, so at this stage I've got a spade and a heart to lose. Um... I can see if they uh, declare wrong. Um, I'm not doing anything with the King of Hearts, so I may as well just see if my righty had it. Yeah. So, uh, just 11 tricks, but really should have uh, played a club to the Queen, the first one. Sixty percent. Uh, 27 people did get to three no trumps. Uh, so they open one diamond, two clubs, two hearts, pass, pass, uh, double, um, pass, three diamonds. They never supported their clubs. I, th I thought supporting clubs was a decent idea. My partner was interested in slam, and if my hand wasn't so garbage, then slam was pretty reasonable. Um, yeah, it's, uh, but getting to three no, like three no is much better. Um, but I was quite happy with our, our auction. Um, some people only got to three clubs. Um, but well done if you got to three no on that hand. If you could see the north-south cards, that's where you'd want to be. Um, my partner asked for a stopper. And I... Uh, I don't know how we should have quite timed it a bit differently. But it felt like supporting clubs was the right answer. Anyway, 12 highs, 5, 4, 3, 1. So I'll bid a spade. Uh, two hearts, natural, three spades, preemptive, four clubs, natural. Oh, five clubs, all right. Um, okay, so they've got uh, clubs and diamonds, and uh, lefty's got hearts and clubs, so it looks like we want to try and draw trumps on them, but 
Uh, I think I need to cash my spades before they go away. So they've officially not... They've officially got all our spade tricks. Um... So I could switch to the King of Diamonds, and if they finesse a club to me, then we get a, a club and a diamond. But I'm struggling to see where the diamond's going to go away to. Um, like, uh, East might have stiff Ace of Hearts, and then they get four discards on Hearts. So if they're a 2 one five, five, they get to ditch uh, four of their diamonds, even after they miss guess. So if I go like spade, spade, and then they win and finesse a club and that loses. And if they can draw trumps ending in that other hand, they might. I might need to do that. Um, switching to the king of diamonds, when does that give up a trick? Uh, we're only gonna get one diamond trick, so I think that's what I want to do. Okay, uh, I think I want to test to see if my partner only has two diamonds. I think it's unlikely, but... I also wanted them to be there to take the finesse before they had uh, time to find out anything about my partner's points. They were 5-6. They did have stiff ace. 100%. Other people... Diamond, a spade, two hearts, three spades, four clubs, five clubs, six clubs. All right. Um, I don't know why my robots didn't want to bid slam. Um, but hooray. And... Oops, too far. I, I, did I really get 100% for that? Some people doubled six clubs. So nearly everyone was defending six clubs. Uh, how many other people defended five clubs? So five clubs... Uh, making 13. Okay, so they passed throughout. For some reason, the robots just liked me and decided not to bid slam. Uh, that being said, if you're in slam and you lead ace of spades, spade, <laughs> ace of spades, uh, they have to drop your singleton king. Because um, they have to go ace of hearts, ace queen, another club to get over there and then cash the hearts. Um, so, although if you go eight, so against slam, you have to go ace of spades, spade, and that now gives them the chance to take the club finesse if they want. In five clubs, they just needed to play, like, by playing diamonds, I gave them the opportunity. That, that's just weird. I, I really don't know why uh, they didn't bid to six. Some people, like, there's the two level. So if you pass throughout, the opponents stop in two clubs, all right? If you bid it all, the opponents bid at six clubs. And for me, they just decided five was enough for absolutely no apparent reason. That is bizarre. Anyway, I will take my extremely fortunate uh, 100% that I didn't see coming. I'm currently in rank number two with 73%. So uh, let's look at last week's puzzle. So last week's puzzle uh, was if there's five zeros, how can you actually get this to equal 120? Uh, so uh, this was actually solved correctly in the last video. Um, I'm sorry, I've just blanked on the name. Um, but uh, basically what you needed to do is just put factorials after each zero because uh, zero factorial is actually equal to one. And then you do 0 factorial plus 0 factorial plus 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 plus, which is 1 plus 1 plus 1. So you get it up to 5. And then you put brackets around all of that and put another factorial sign just at the end. 
and 5 factorial is equal to 120. Uh, this week's puzzle, a little bit different, is uh, so here we've got a picture of a pyramid. Uh, which one is the top view of this pyramid? Is it 1, 2, 3, or 4? Oops. All right. So let's move on to board number five. Okay, one new trump, and I got seven highs, so I'll just transfer to hearts. Not interested in game, so I'll just pass. Okay. So, this looks like uh, this hand would be better played in one no trump, because we've probably got six clubs and two aces, so making eight tricks. Uh, in two hearts, it looks like we're going to lose uh, two spades, two hearts. Um, two diamonds. So I could win here and go ace of diamonds, diamond, but then I can play like heart, heart, spade, spade, diamond, diamond. So that's no good. Um, I think I want to duck the first spade and see what they do. Okay, so win there. And... Start drawing trumps. So duck a diamond here. And now they have to... Okay. I... If they duck another heart, that's... Awkward for me. Um, so I can play Queen of Hearts. If they win. So I could play Ace of Diamonds, Club to the Jack, Rough a Diamond. No. Ooh. They didn't uh, play the diamond and knock out my entry, so see if hearts are 3-3. Three, three. They are. So we make nine, uh, eight tricks, so that was a fortunate finish there. Um, making two. I'm not sure if I play that one particularly well at all, um, but mediocre score, I reckon. Medium? Six, 69. Okay. I did think there would be a fair amount of people playing in one no trump. I, I definitely think it's right to transfer. Uh, hit my partner with like a pretty bad hand f for me to be in hearts. We didn't have a fit and we just had lots of running tricks, none of which were in hearts. Um, so stopping in one no trump worked well on the hand, but uh, a bunch of people just went off in two hearts. Some people went off in three clubs. Uh, but I'm very happy with 69% there. Uh, moving on to hand number six. Okay, so we've got 10 highs, 5-5. Five, five. I'm going to open this. We are favorable. Heart, double, two heart, two spades. I don't want to bid four hearts. This might talk them out of four spades. Might leverage them into it. <laughs> Looks like it went the, the leverage them into it. Maybe like uh, making an invite is the best way to try and talk them out of it. Um, gives them room to try and compete. Um, but here... How many tricks do I think I'm going to go down? So let's say I give my partner King Jack of Hearts and some random diamond card. Uh, then I lose two spades, a heart. So two spades, a heart, one or two clubs, and a diamond. I feel like I'll only go for 500 a lot of the time. They might give me my spade trick. Uh, my partner might have better hand than that. My partner might have a worse hand than that. Um... They might be to five spades. I have like half a defensive trick, so I really think they're making this. So we'll bid five hearts and hope that part, not all of my partner's values are in diamonds. Okay. Uh, all my partner's points are in diamonds. They're also in king, queen, doubleton diamond. Uh, we have a 10 card club fit. So getting to five clubs would have been better, but it looks like we're gonna lose a club, a diamond, two spades, three hearts, and maybe a club rough for like, maybe like 2000 or something like that. 
Um, so, partner had none of the heart values I wanted. But. Wow, they didn't rough it. Okay, so they were going to be roughing with a natural trump trick there. But chose not to. Okay, they've set up my spade trick. This is going significantly better. And they cra crashed the jack and ten of hearts. Okay. Um, not sure if that... Was that the six of hearts? Maybe. I, I want them to take um, another heart. Show me the ace. Um, so, ah, I miscounted there. Totally miscounted. Good news, they were out of spades there to, uh, do anything good. Um, so six tricks for a terrible score. Only 1,100 though. <laughs> we get 64% for me taking, going for 1,100. Um, a lot of people let them make, well, they got to six spades and made that. Uh, six spades. Looks like they only lose one diamond. Um, and all they have to do is take a finesse. So here people didn't open. Um, so it was more difficult for the opponents. Um, but firstly, I, I'm going to assume that uh, people that went off and slam just... Uh... Okay. Uh, some random... Uh, a takeout double there. Yeah. King of clubs. Top heart. Heart rough. Queen of spades covered. Uh... The heart stitching that. They're just why'd they rough that that heart there? Um So now you could I, I still think you can make you can cash the ten of spades and go ace of diamonds diamond. Oh they over they overtook? They were playing for like the nine to drop? Okay, that like that was a really strange line of play. Other people took uh they bid one heart and then just like that is enough for me. I am not having a bar of this. Uh and yeah, the opponent stopped in four spades. I had that opportunity, but I thought eleven hundred was like a, a better option, but uh sixty four percent is a remarkably generous score for going for 1100 um, when I could have uh, just stopped in game but uh, probably shouldn't have sacrificed on that one I will go to board number seven and look at here we've got a flat 12 count I open a diamond with 4-4 in the, the minors um, just because diamonds it's easier to, for partner to compete I only do this if uh, my partner like if I've got good diamonds if I don't want diamonds led, then I won't do it. And partner invited. I don't have three hearts. I would have bid two hearts if I had uh, three card support there. They actually led my first bid suit. So I got two diamonds, probably five hearts. And I could lead a spade up, which will probably hold, and a club up. Ideally, I'd want to lead a club up first, but... Okay, so we'll win. Um, leading my first bid suit is really strange. Um, I'd do that if they had like quite a good diamond suit. Um, 
I think I want to lead a spade up because I have the option of playing west for either the ace or the jack. And if I pull a, like cross and pull a club up, then if the club ace is offside and they play another diamond, most of the time I'll lose just the ace of clubs, the ace of spades, and two diamonds. Um... Hmm. All right, like the, the spades have the extra option of me being able to finesse the ace or the jack. Uh, the clubs have the extra option that, let's say I play a spade to the king and it holds. If east has ace, jack, or spades, if I pull a spade up again, I might go down. If I play a club over, west might win and just push a spade through, which is kind of dangerous. They don't actually have enough tricks to beat me as such, but I, I think diamonds are probably 5-2 for them to try and be leading my first bid suit. West might just have like jack 10, 9, 8 or something. Um, I think my preference would be to lead a club up. A couple of bad things if I lead a club up, they might just win and return a club. And I might have... Again, I'm probably only losing, say, three clubs and a spade. So they, uh, the worst thing they can probably do is continue a diamond, which I can duck. Then they can push a club through. Uh, if I go heart, heart to get to the north hand and play a club up. Yeah. I'm going to play a club up. Uh, like, There's a few dangers. I haven't worked out exactly what they are, but uh, I'm just going to... Heart, heart, and call up. I feel like my timing to get back to the north hand is the difficult part. If this loses, I can now just switch to spades now. Ace of clubs. All right. Um... So, do I want to finesse the spade? Like, uh, my right hand opponent has ace jack of clubs and the ace of spades. If they had the jack of spades, maybe they would have overcalled two clubs. I personally wouldn't, especially vulnerable. Um, but, um, if lefty, ha so I think lefty is the only one guarding diamonds. If lefty has diamonds and spades, then they're in trouble. I can't squeeze righty out of spades and um, clubs. But if lefty's got the jack of spades, I think I'll squeeze them. Um, I, I just have to keep track of the jack of spades. That's all I have to pay attention to. I was like, I, I've forgotten what West discarded on the second round of clubs. But uh, we will let go a diamond. Let go a spade. And let go a club. And I believe diamonds will probably be good. Yeah, 11 tricks. So that's cool. 85%. So a fair amount of people did it. Uh, nice squeeze there. Um, getting West in. Um, Spades and diamonds. Um, so I didn't need to finesse on the assumption diamonds were actually 5-2, which I thought they probably were based on, on the defense. 72% uh, in rank number two, one board to play. Hopefully we can finish strong, not go for 1,100 or anything like that. Uh, pass three spades, double. I've only got 12 highs, but I think four spades will make most of the time. Um, probably lose like a spade, a heart, and a club. We might lose more than that. We might lose fewer. Um, if the opponent's bid a minor, I'd probably prefer doubling them. If they bid hearts, I don't think I would want to double them. Um, they have at least a nine card heart fit, so I don't see them bidding a minor. And if they do and I double them, they could run there. So we'll bid four spades, just put them under some pressure to see if they want to do anything more. So five hearts. So I think with all my minor suit cards, I 
think they're going to be in trouble to try and get 11 tricks there. Um, so I'm going to double out. I've only got one clear defensive trick, but West is a passed hand and probably has some distribution in hearts. Um, I'm going to go for it. They might make this from time to time, but I'm liking the intermediates and the positioning of it. Okay. Uh, so dummy is a 2 4 one, six. So not really what I was expecting there. Um, my partner opened three spades and led what appears to be a singleton club. Uh, looks like West has um, two clubs and one spade. So maybe a 5-5 five, five or a 6-4 or something like that. Probably not 6-4. They might have preempted initially. Um, Queen of Hearts, that is fantastic news. So, catch the club. And let's try and get a spade trick. Okay, my partner only had six spades. So my double really, really got them. They decided to hook the heart on the first round, which was just really generous. They could have got out for down one. Uh, but 98% to finish with. Uh, four people doubled there. A lot of people got to four spades and did go off on this layout. Um, so we've got a diamond loser, a club loser. Like, we've got a loser in each suit, unfortunately. Um, but it's basically on a finesse um, or a singleton king of spades with west couple of, couple of options there four spades seemed like a fair spot to get to um, but uh, not everyone preempted there so here north passed in second seat so it depends on what sort of preemptive style people have um, I, I think I said very aggressive preempting style and it certainly I guess paid dividends for me uh, they bid onto five hearts they're cold for four hearts 98% and rank number one, we got there. It's my first time I've actually won this tournament, tournament, but 76%. So got to knock, knock off Alex Azuga, um, but uh, 76%. And in second place, Alex Azuga, third place, now seven. So thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, Funbridge tournament. Took, took me a moment to work out that I actually gotten up there to the top spot. Can't believe I won, also including going for 1100 on a board, um, but a pretty cool one. Um, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I wanted to give a big shout out to all my patrons. Uh, it really does help me uh, if you can actually support this. And uh, if, you, if you're willing to support, please check out my Patreon content uh, over there or down in the link below. And the puzzle this week uh, was what's the actual top view of this pyramid? So is it one, two, three, or four? Thanks all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.